Hi, I'm Mark from easylawnmowing.co.uk and this is the Flymo EasyMo 380R electric lawnmower. In this video, we're gonna take a look at its features and functions. We're gonna test the mower out here on my lawn. And by the end of this review, you'll know whether this is the right electric lawnmower for you and your lawn. So before we take a closer look at this Flymo EasyMo 380R, we need to get it unboxed and assembled. So let's do that now. Let's see what comes supplied with the package and how easy the assembly is. Okay, so what you get in the box is naturally the mower itself, and this is the 380R model uh, of the Easy Mo. You also get the user guide here, the manual, um, which also has the assembly instructions there. You get the nuts and bolts that are gonna be needed to do the assembly of the handles, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And also the grass collection box. So this is a 45 liter grass collection box. And as you can see there, there is going to be a little bit of assembly required with that. And again, I'm gonna show you that in a moment. Okay, so before we go into the specifications, let's get the mower assembled uh, and then we'll take it out and test it on my lawn. Okay, so I hope you could see there how easy it was to assemble this lawnmower. Very, very straightforward. The only little tricky bit was the grass collection box there, getting it to lock into place. But if you persevere with it, it's actually no problem whatsoever. Okay, so let's take a look at the specification of this particular Flymo lawnmower, the EasyMo 380R. So if we start at the top here at the handles, you can see here that you have dual starters on the left and right. It's always what I like to see because if you're going around a left or right hand turn, you can keep the mower going. So for maneuverability, that really does help. If we work our way down the bars here, you can see that you can fold the handles at both this midpoint and this lower point here. So that's gonna reduce your storage space. So these handles do fold flat, completely flat. Having said that, this is a solid grass collection box. So this grass collection box is not gonna fold down flat. Um, so that is gonna take up a little bit more storage space. So while we're on the subject of the grass collection box, it's a 45 liter capacity, which is a really, really good size for a 38 centimeter deck. Also on the top of the grass collection box, you have the grass full flap, which is nice to see. So you're gonna know when the grass collection box needs to be emptied and that takes the, the guesswork out of that particular process. Okay, so if we work our way down here, you can see you've got a central carry handle, which is really nice. So that's gonna make it easier for getting the mower in and out of the shed or the garage. And if we then go on to the, the actual height adjustment, so I'm just gonna turn that around. So you've got the height adjustment here at the front. So you've got five height adjustments. 
Now, why? Uh, while five height adjustments might not sound a lot, the range is actually pretty good. So it's from 20 millimeters to 60 millimeters. And that 20 millimeters is a really nice low cut. And you don't see that with a lot of lawn mowers. So if you want a nice low cut, this is gonna be the mower for you with that nice 20 mil cut. In terms of the 60 mil, some people do like a higher cut. They like the 70 or the 75 mil. Uh, so this only goes up to 60. The height adjustment is really, really easy to do. So you simply just, and uh, use this lever here to adjust all four wheels and then that locks into position but what we will be doing when we test the mower later is making sure that that stays in so when you hit a bump that's not going to bounce out drop down to the lowest setting and scalp the lawn so we'll be doing that test a little bit later so let's turn the mower over now and have a look underneath Okay, so as you can see here, and as the name would suggest, that's the 380R. The R in the, in the model number dictates that this has a rear roller. And as you can see here, it's a good width, that rear roller, almost running the full width of the, the mower itself. So that's really nice. And also this is single molded. So some mowers that I've tested have uh, a rear roller that clips together, it's in two halves. And over time that comes apart and that's really causing a lot of people problems with some of the other brands. But with this mower, it's solidly molded and that's nice to see. So I don't think over, over time you're gonna have any issues with the rear roller. And again, we'll be seeing how well this mower stripes my lawn when we test it a little bit later. Also, what I've noticed here is you've got larger rear wheels. So I always like to see larger rear wheels on a mower. That helps with the stability and the maneuverability of the mower. So that's a good touch there. And you've also got these grass combs here. So what these do is they pull the grass into the path of the blade. So when you're going up against any walls or borders uh, on your lawn, that helps to give you a nice close cut up to the edge and it reduces the amount of trimming that you're gonna need to do with any uh, trimmer after you've mowed your lawn. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. The deck here looks really nice and smooth. That's gonna to help to make it easy to clean. Okay, so in terms of the specification, that's, that's it. Um, so all that's left to do now is to take the mower out and see how well it performs. So just before we do take this mower out to, to test on my lawn, I just wanted to go over the few models that other models that are available. So as I mentioned, this is 38 centimeters. There's also a 34 centimeter deck and a 30 centimeter deck. Now the different models have different power. This is a 1600 watt motor. The 34 centimeter deck has a 1400 watt motor and the 30 centimeter uh, has a thousand watt motor. But there are other differences between the models in terms of the cutting heights and the height adjustments and the grass collection box sizes. So what I would suggest is that you head on over to the easylawnmowing.co.uk website where you'll see a full review of this model, but there's also a handy comparison table there that shows you the different models and what you're getting with each model. And this will ensure that you choose the right model for your own lawn and for your particular circumstances. So there's a link in the description below this video. Okay, so we've brought the mower out onto my lawn here. So my lawn here is around 450 square meters. This 38 centimeter deck is really recommended for lawns up to 400 square meters. Once you start going over 500 square meters, you're probably gonna want to go for something of a petrol lawn mower to give you that freedom uh, to move around the lawn. However, so we've got 450 here, we're gonna test it out on my lawn. Uh, so my lawn, my grass here is actually quite long. It's around, I would say 100 millimeters in places. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna cut too much off of the lawn. I'm gonna set this at position three, which is around 40 millimeters. So we're gonna cut it about 40 millimeters, the whole lawn, and we're gonna see how well it performs. Other tests that we're gonna do is I've got some longer lawn, uh, longer grass actually at the end of the lawn there, and we're gonna test and see how well it deals with really, really long grass as well. As I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do a bounce test on the height selection. So we're gonna make sure that that height doesn't bounce out uh, and drop down and scalp the lawn. We're also gonna bounce the mower and make sure when the grass box is full that this grass box doesn't bounce off like some of the other mowers that I've tested and can be really, really frustrating. So that's pretty much it in terms of what we're gonna do here. So let's get on, let's get it plugged in and let's get it tested.
Okay, so I've done five or six passes up and down the lawn and I'm really, really impressed with this Flymo uh, mower. The 1600 watt motor is really, really good. You never really struggled and my lawn was quite damp and it was quite long as well. Uh, as I said, it's set on position number three, which is about 14 millimeter cutting height. And it's really done a good job. I don't know whether you can see there on the camera, it's also striped the lawn really, really well. For an electric mower that weighs just over 12 kilograms, it's done a really good job at striping the lawn as well. And that wide rear roller uh, has really done a good job. Okay. The, the mower has also picked up the grass cuttings exceptionally well. I was a little bit dubious about having a solid grass collection box because I don't believe the circulation is as good as the cloth ones, but it hasn't left anything on the lawn and it's really filled uh, the collection box really, really well, as you can see there. So that grass collection box is really heavy, it's really full. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that that grass collection box doesn't bounce off if you hit any bumps. So some models that I've tested, they do that and it's really frustrating. So what I'm gonna do is just bounce the mower around like that and you can see there that that grass collection box really locks in very, very well. So in terms of the cutting height as well, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that on the, the top setting, number five, like so, and again, bounce the mower around just make sure that that doesn't bounce out, goes down to one and scalps the lawn again, as I've tested with some other models, but you can see there, it's really done a good job. So I'm just gonna put that back on position three so that I can finish the rest of the lawn. So first impressions, really, really impressed. I'm gonna now take the mower to the end of the lawn where there's the really long grass and we'll test it and see how well that 1600 watt motor performs. Okay, so we've brought the fly mow out to the end of my lawn where I've got some really long grass. So I would say this is about 200 mil plus, 200 millimeters plus in height. So I'm gonna set this on position four, which is around 50 mil. So we're gonna be taking quite a lot off and we're gonna see how well, it, how well it cuts and how well that 1600 watt mower deals with this longer lawn. Okay, so let's give that a try now. Okay, so I hope you could see there how well this Flymo EasyMo 380R did at cutting my lawn and how well it did uh, at cutting the longer lawn at the end of the, the garden as well. So that 1600 watt motor never ever struggled. Uh, in terms of build quality, um, I've got no concerns whatsoever about the build quality of this mower and at around 120 pounds this really is great value for money and compares very very nicely to the equivalent Hyundai and the equivalent Lawnmaster as well so really really impressed okay so with all my reviews I always go over the pros and cons of any particular lawnmower so that you know what you're getting uh, with a mower so in terms of the cons with this particular Flymo there is only the single cutting option, so you're only getting cut and collect. So there is no option to rear discharge and there is no option to mulch the grass cuttings as well with the, the Easy Mow range. So that's one thing that you need to take into consideration. So it is only cut and collect. The other thing is you have a solid grass collection box. Although it performs really, really well, the, the flap performs well, the suction is really good, the circulation, it picks up extremely well. It is a solid box, it's not gonna fold flat to give you that uh, extra storage. So uh, the only other slight issue is with not this particular model and not the slightly smaller model, the 34 centimeter, but with the 30 centimeter uh, Easy Mo that's the 300R. The height adjustment is a manual height adjustment with the axles. So you have to adjust the front axle and the rear axle and there's only three height adjustments there. And I really, really don't like that, uh, that method of adjusting the height. Um, so that really is it in terms of the cons. So what are you actually getting in terms of this particular model. So you're getting a really good 38 centimeter cutting width. That's good for lawns up to around 400 square meters. So for my lawn here, it's ideal. Um, you've got the foldable handle. So they fold at both points as well. Now, though it's not uh, advertised with this mower, the, the vertical storage, this mower does actually allow you to store the mower vertically. So that in some ways will compensate for the grass box not folding flat as well. Um, the 1600 watt motor, as I said, really, really good performance. The cutting heights, although it's only five cutting heights, I think that's 
plenty really and that's a good range from 20 mil to 60 mil. So as I said earlier there's a comparison table over on the easy lawn mowing.co.uk website there's a link in the description below this video that shows you all the different models and there's a table there that will show you exactly what you're getting with each model so you can pick the right one for your particular circumstances. There's a full review of this Flymo Easy Mow 380R over on the easylawnmowing.co.uk website. There's a link in the description below this video. And if you found this video review, uh, review useful in any way, could I please ask that you click that thumbs up button below this video, it would be much appreciated. And why not hit the subscribe button as well. You will need to click that bell icon if you want to get notifications. So thanks very much for watching this video review. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments box below this video and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.